All right, all right, all right, here we go. All right. Yo, how, is, how are the borders on this thing? I gotta check real quick. Hold up, Franks. Because I can't, I can't see my screen. Oh my god. Oh, we're bleeding a little bit. We're bleeding. I think that's better. Here we go. I, I didn't move the frame because everything was set up for BlizzCon. Who is Core? Who's that guy? Okay, Roman. It'll probably happen toward the end of the day, I think. We may miss it. If if you're not here, because uh, I'm going to do these other VODs first, would you prefer that we do it on, like, Monday? Since you're usually here toward the beginning of the stream because you're time zone, right? All right. All right, Franks. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? Oh, this is, this is all sorts of screwed up. Oh, bro. Okay, this is upsetting. Hold up. Yeah, we're fixing this because I can't handle this right now. Hold up, Franks. This will make sense in a minute, okay, bro? Trust me, this will be worth it if you hang around. I should have done this before stream, but... Almost. Just a few more clicks. How's this looking? Nope. this I think that's okay am I bleeding anywhere I'm bleeding at the bottom again bro I think that's probably better ha! I win <sighs> okay we're a little even my OCD was being triggered sorry I apologize. Let's get a show the road, shall we? Oh wait, my follower bar. All of my bars are missing. Hold up. All of my bars. I got bars, yeah. I think this is what we want here. It is indeed. Let's go. Let's get the show on the road. Here we go. All right. Uh, mistake already. Don't poke. With a widow, with a widow, um, sorry, uh, if you're getting pocketed on mercy, with mercy, uh, you pretty much never want to poke with a pocket, uh, you pretty much don't want her to pocket you at all, like, ever, 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 never, 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 ever, never, um, watch this, if I'm a sniper, I see you before you see me here, because you're getting pocketed, it's hard to see, because I can't zoom, but, there you go, I already know you're there, and I kill you immediately, so uh, if she's pocketing you, uh, don't poke. Go back downstairs and poke from the bottom. That way uh, you can actually get some stuff done here. Uh, never really good to ever pocket a mercy or pocket a widow. Yeah, no need to pocket widow. You didn't need pocketing there to get that headshot. Good headshot though. Yeah, guys, if you pocket widows, you reveal their positions generally. Nice shot. It's a flying dwarf. The low glasses, you like the glasses, bro? People seem to love my glasses. Nice. Yeah, keep shooting. They have no widow, so you should just have fun here. Yep, just keep having fun, man. We got a crop duster plane flying overhead. Oh, this is a, uh, yeah, it's an aggro position. So widow's positions. Franks, real quick. I have a really cool thing here. We're gonna show you. What's this, bro? Sorry about why chat. Hopefully it's not upsetting anyone. I hope, I hope, I hope. Come on, window capture, don't freak out on me. Nice, nice. All right, spots where you can stand. Let's see if this works. Oh, uh, I didn't click visible. Oh, the filter? Wait, hold up. Gotta turn the filter back on. Done. 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 Okay. So spots where you can stand on Widow. This this place is okay. 
This is great. This is okay over here. Over here is okay. This is good positioning. This is okay as well. Uh, places you don't want to stand. Here. You don't want to stand there. You don't want to stand here. And pretty much anyone, anywhere that's forward. Anywhere up here. You don't want to stand. You don't want to stand in here. You don't want to stand over here. Those are okay. But also, because you guys are just now beginning to kill people, if you're in this position, you get one or two picks. Walk this way. Hook high ground. Stand here. Destroy the entire team for free. You have like 15-20 seconds to do it while the enemy team respawns and pulls up from behind. Yeah. I could, Sam, but sometimes it's funny. Good shot. Not much you can do there. Not much you can do there. You weren't out of position. You had, uh, you shot him, which is great. The team wasn't able to finish him off, unfortunately. Yeah. So since they're playing without uh, like a like a real dive or without a widow, you just want to play super pressureful here. No just play real hard left. Yeah. Just you can go around this building and play on the left on the floor, and like nobody will touch you. Yeah. This works too. Okay, you're getting a little overexposed here. Zarya can make mincemeat of you with this distance. Okay, so one thing so far that you do do is you pick one position and you stay there until you're shot at. Uh, for Widow, one of the most important habits you can develop as quickly as possible is actually to reposition every like two or three shots. Even if you miss, just reposition. Reposition. It's got to be like a like a thing you do all the time. I'm sorry, Reagan. My bad, man. I'm so sorry. We're in about two months, two three months. We'll have partner, okay? About two three months, and then none of that stuff will happen. I promise. So this is good. This angle's good. You're just playing on the floor here. Depends on whether or not you're comfortable shooting these shots. Nice dink. Yeah. You definitely, with their comp, dude, with their comp they're running, you need to be abusing this position right here. This is free kills all day long. You're protected from the sky from Echo. She can't get you here. And if McCree or anyone, any, any like frontliner wants to come at you, they have to deal with your team first, right? Just look at what they have to run through. If they want to come, if they want to come at you, they best not miss, right? If they want to run at you, they got to go this way. But your team, right now, your team owns this space. So if they want to come at you, they got to go through your team. So you're playing a little defensive here. You don't have to. But you're getting value, so that's great. Oh, thank you, Kingdom. Always making sure I'm not dying on stream. Sweet, sweet man. I watched a little bit of the Shock vs. the World game. It was pretty legit. Here we go. Left side. Oh. Relax, relax. Yeah, there's really no need to panic, especially when you're not being contested. Nobody's shooting at you. Don't panic with your shots. Yeah, no need for you to cap here either, unless you're just trying to get fire. I do that all the time. Alright. This is good, this is good. Just keep keep going here. You want it you want a cool map? map centric tip i don't know if you do this but i will tell you right now this space this window belongs to these characters doom hernzo and ganji and terser okay uh this is not a widow position if you go in here you will die <laughs> love my spelling uh anyway so if you ever go in here as widow you just die uh the only widows who are ever allowed in here are if you've taken your widow above 4k then you can sweet go good for you otherwise never go in here um just never go in here this is a death death spot always this is insta death it's one of one of the few positions actually in the game that if widow goes she just immediately dies just like gg uh i can't tell you how many times when you start playing masters plus you come up here 
you're dead to a Doomfister Genji immediately or a Hanzo. This whole space is owned by those characters. Widow has, Widow has no business being there. Unless you're a god. So, avoid that space at all costs. Alright, they have a Doom? Don't even, don't even touch it. Yikes, she got munched. Yep, use the mines here for space, good. This guy should not be boosting you. He should be boosting the... If this, if this Mercy, Mercy if you're there, if this Mercy's here, uh, the person you should be boosting here is uh, Sigma. Boost Sigma. He just does the most damage. Oh, you're Enrose? What's up, Encat? I'll give you some tips too, okay, my man? I'll tell you how to get rid of this uh, Widow, okay? So if the Widow's posted up here, what do you do as soldier? Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna coach both. We're gonna coach both teams. Here we go. Uh, so how do you? This is a great position for Widow, by the way. This is excellent. You have vision of every uh, every exit here. You have this one. You got 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 everything. You literally have vision of everything here. So this is perfectly where you want to stand. There's like literally no need for you to swap positions. Now, here what you need to do as Widow is you need to keep an eye out for where the team is coming from. If the enemy team comes from here, 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 or here, any of these four positions, you immediately, you take your shot, and then you immediately reposition to right here. What that does is it limits your vision, which is fine. You only, you only see two spaces, but only those two spaces can see you, and you have the vision advantage on these folks. They can't see you first. They have to locate you first, right? So fight here, and then depending on where the enemy shows up and what they do, like if they come out here on the floor, reposition, over here behind the sign, take him from behind, okay? This is this is how you play Widow here. Uh, and then for Soldier, what you do on Soldier to defeat this Widow, uh, you essentially just wait for your tanks. Once they create enough space, if once they come out here for you, you rotate out from high ground back here, and you have to take this space from Widow. You have to claim it before she does. You have to understand that this is where Widow optimally wants to play. It's where the camera is. So you have to take this position back ASAP. This gives you high ground over the point. Gives you high ground over the point. You can stay here and just rain fire down on the point and you're protected from the Widow. You can also take out the Widow from here. And if you need, you can always come down here, take the Mega and fight below. But you do not want to be caught out here at all. The only people who should be playing out here are tanks. And ideally, what happens are that the tanks come out high ground and then just walk the Widow down and you fight on this high ground. Ideally. But that requires a lot of communication. So let's, let's see what happens here. Reagan. I'm so sorry, Reagan. Nice shot. Okay, so they're they're running up the right direction. This is good for them. You need to rotate to the left to get away from the doom. Give them worse angles. Uh, that's okay. Uh, that's one of the hardest counters in the game. Valkyrie versus Widow. You die. Well, hello, Mr. Phantom. I got news for you, pal. You ain't leading but two things right now. Jack and shit. Jack left town. Yo, Av, people ask all the time, my man. All the time. It's gonna cost 10 million points. Somebody's gonna get those points. And you can make me shave. I love you, Reagan, dude. Enjoy your sub, Neo. So you can't really do too much. The the Widow came at you, or the, the Mercy came at you. You have usually one or two bullets to shoot at a Vulcan Widow, and if you don't get the headshots, you just die. That's just the way that works. But see where the Doom's hiding? Never go in there. That's Doom's room. Nice shot. Good angle abuse. I love that you're not going in that bad room. Nice. Stay on a different plane than the Doom. And Enros, here on Doom, you just want to dive the Widow. Dive the Widow. Uh, skip everything else, go after the Widow. Just get rid of her. If you kill the Widow, you relieve a lot of DPS pressure on your team. All you gotta do is do him is just, just dash at her. Alright, so now we're on Reaper. This is probably to counter the Monkey Rhine. Reaper's new uh, kit, guys, the kit that he just got as of a couple days ago, um, makes him better at range, okay? He has a little bit better range. His hit size went down a little bit. That doesn't mean he's like not good up close. He's still best up close, but he has a little more, a little more range. Not much, just a little. 
a little less damage overall as well. This is great stuff. Nice find on Doom. Yep, he wraithed and he got Mega. Don't fight him. Nice. Okay, if you're ulting here on Doom, yeah, you have to go for the back line, but you gotta be very careful. Enros, uh, small mistake there. Small mistake. Um, when you use Doom ult, make sure that you wait long enough for your cooldowns to reset when you slam, so that when you come out of it, you can immediately use your abilities. Uh, Doom tech, guys, um, always up uppercut coming out of Doom ult. So what you do, Enros in chat, yes, he is. He's here. Uh, what you do coming out of Doom Ult, hold shift when you use your ultimate so that literally the frame, the first frame that comes up that you're allowed to uppercut, if you hold shift, it'll uppercut for you. Same thing with holding recall on Tracer when you're slept. First frame you're available to, to recall, you will. Very surprised you didn't get uh, beamed right there. Yep. Careful, careful. Oh, this is death. So yeah, there. Probably just hide somewhere and then teleport away. One of the core rules of making Reaper work right now, guys, is using teleport actively in the middle of fights. It's, it's insanely effective. It's much faster than it used to be. Just make sure that your destination is hidden out of line of sight. Otherwise, people will kill you immediately. So here... Uh, as Reaper, I don't want high ground. I don't want high ground. I would assume that Doom owns the high ground and then Doom kind of beats Reaper. What I do here is I probably take this position where this Ana is and I teleport back here behind the Ana. Teleport here into a small space. It's not high ground, but I know Doom is not going to fight me in here. And if he chooses to fight me, I have the Mega. Pick on them from the back line. And then Doom, how do you, how do you kill the Reaper when he teleports back down here? The way you kill him is you start with Slam. Slam right E first. That should get Wraith out. If that doesn't, Uppercut. Uppercut is okay in here because there's a ceiling. You're not going to just be floating. Uh, you're not going to be floating forever and die to Reaper. So you can E, Uppercut if you need it. Punch if you need it. Uh, you want to force Wraith and then you want to regroup with your team. Keep an eye on him. Once your cooldowns are back up, then just crush him probably on this exit over here. But we'll see, we'll see how this uh, high ground battle goes here. Yeah. If you're nanoed, put your damage into a tank here. Right there, 100%. Alright, let's see. Let's see. This is a pretty far push. It's a pretty good push. Your team started to struggle when you dropped the uh, Widow, it looks like. I don't think... Weeaboo Milk. Great punch, Rose. I don't think Weeaboo Milk over here. His name is literally Weeaboo Milk. Not sure he's getting very many kills on Doom. Okay, let's see here. Keep shooting the Ryan Shield. Nice. Nice coach. Ha! <laughs> he gave up. Whoa, we need some HP. Okay. Yikes. Um, not sure what your Mercy was looking at, but she definitely needed to be on you there. You even stopped moving to help her. Nice evasion. Uh, not sure where your healers are. Uh, you're like way backline and still getting dove from this echo. Uh, your healers had to be on you. You tried there. Uh, the only way you survive that is with a couple of headshots in a row. Great punishing though. And Enrose, if you're running Doom on this point, on this map, you want to play inside that room. Play inside that room, my man. With the Mega, the Hanzo Doom space, play in there. Just, like, use that space as, like, your home base. See what you can get here. Nice dynamite. Coach, nice. Yeah, just keep shooting, keep shooting. 
Here comes Doom. Risky. Very risky. Nice. Excellent, 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 excellent. Um, Doom a little greedy there. Uh, actually, not gonna lie, Ash got super mega lucky. She had no coach gun and she jumped. She jumped first, so she messed up. She was on a different Y axis than you were. Once you guys finally aligned, she got a really lucky jump on top of a car hood and so she dodged too much. Just super unlucky with the geometry setup there. Good attempt though. Hey, Graf. And yeah, to be optimal around Doom, uh, for every ability used, there's always space before and after for you to left click. So there's always space for you to left click on Doom. Allows you to get more damage. But before that's like a thing that you focus on doing, landing the abilities in the right order is probably more important. Always alternate. Not always alternate, but try to alternate and alter the, the order of your skill usage. That's a big dynamite. You should probably just bob this dude. That's so many people. Nice. Oh, yikes. Nice. Got slept. It's all good. Supercharger lasts so long. So yeah, your team, Enrose, your team has to get rid of the people on high ground here. And the way you do it with the team comp that you're running, uh, you, you play high ground. Oh, sorry. Duh. Obviously you play high ground. Your whole team needs to do this. You play low. You play low. Right? This is the Reinhardt way to do it. You play low, you keep coming up here, blah, 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 blah. Here you go. Reinhardt's close, close enough for a charge. Monkey jumps in, probably covers the charge with a bubble. Your whole team's here. You've got the Doom here with you, and then you're good to go. Echo can approach from behind. Anna still has great line so lines of sight. Just good stuff for your team. Your team just has to come up from underneath. And then how do you how do you counter that if you're up here, guys? If you're playing uh, in this Ash, McCree, Arista position, what you do is you play tight here on the mini play close wait till where they go right if they don't show up then you know they're obviously coming underneath and all you do is you just back up you have two options you can play here or you can play here do not go downstairs if you go downstairs you forfeited high ground the pushing team wins you either play here you play back right here or you play here whoever wins high ground controls the point so cart push at this point does not matter it's all about winning high ground you gotta win high ground here so you just wait to see where they show up and then you back up. Otherwise you play forward. Oh, here they come. Okay. So they're making the right move. This point has taken way too long for them to show up. You guys all should immediately back up. Oh, Arissa fell the point. That's not good. Okay, both DPS show themselves. That's risky. I have no idea where your team is or what's going on. Yeah, they ran in through the back. Yeah, scope shoot here to get rid of the yellow armor. Nice left click. Don't don't bother guarding the corpse. Yeah, it's better to kill the people in the back line here. So yeah, blue team and Rose, great attempt from your team. You guys just engaged on the on uh, low ground, and then Ash had total high ground dominance over you guys. If you guys push high ground, this is a much cleaner fight, especially with the Reinhardt hammer. He probably gets a few people there. What's up, Captain? Converting that sub. What's up, Silk? This is uh, Platinum. Yeah, Enrose just happened to be in the game, so or in the channel. Enrose, dude, how'd you even find this, bro? How'd you even show up here, man? This is kind of crazy. Your ears burning. So there are ways to make that tech work. Good attempt, Enrose. Yep, there you go. So you figured it out. Uh, yeah, you got to take high ground, but your team's got to be there with you. So right now, you guys, what's going on? The blue team is making a huge mistake here. Uh, this happens with a lot of teams. It's really hard to explain this in game uh, to teams below like GM. Uh, it's a really difficult concept to explain. But right now the Reinhardt, the tanks on the blue team are really playing with the idea that what matters most here is cart push. And that's not at all. It's like third, maybe fourth. What's most important here is literally taking over high ground. Doing what Enrose is doing is far more important. Because if you just push cart on the floor, you just end up dying anyway, and the cart goes back. So like, what do you what do you get out of that? You get nothing. So you have to win high ground here. You have to win the fight. Then you can get cart push right after. Um, yeah. 
So the a lot of folks think about this game as like, okay, we're pushing the cart, we're getting stuff done, yay, we're making progress, good, good, good. And then, oh shit, now we're out of position. Now we have to figure out how to deal with high ground. No, no, high ground first, cart second. So Enrose, you're doing you're doing good work here, but you want to make sure that that uh, your Mercy should be pocketing you, and your uh, Echo should be around as well. But I think she's dead. Yeah, no one can contest Ash here very well. That's true. And yeah, this Mercy's trying now. Ooh, crispy! You just got crispified, bro. Crispy fied. Yep, there, there's your answer. Once they cleared Ash off the high ground, opened up the entire space, card push, point captured. Done deal. So guys, it's like it's like the same concept as like, let's say you're playing a 2CP map or something, or you're playing, let's just say you're playing uh, Hollywood, you know that first point on defense? Let's say like your McCree dies on Hollywood. He just immediately dies. Hold up, let me turn this down just a smidge. You're playing defense on Hollywood, and your McCree dies. Uh, what usually happens until you hit like really high masters, maybe GM, actually it's, it's probably to like 39, 4k, I wouldn't be surprised. Most people, what they do is they're like, oh shit, we gotta play super defensive and just like guard the point with our lives. No, 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 bad. You lose somebody there, you back up off point, you let them take as many ticks as they want, you regroup with six, you push in. Same concept here, cart push is not, not the priority because there's so much space the enemy team needs to take to push it to get the point, you take control high ground. And that's that's the key to victory here is high ground. Now your ball is trying to stall here. Yeah, your positioning's good. Also, you're almost to level 69, dude. Celebrate it. When you're 69, you better teabag every kill, okay? That's what I expect. Franks? Franks? Are you listening, Franks? Franks? You guys, if you're ever level 69, see how he's level 68 here at the bottom, see this? 68? If you're ever 69, you teabag every kill. Every kill. That's your homework. Nice unicorn, I do too. Teabag IRL. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Decent Bob position. He landed on the wrong side of the payload. I think you probably wanted to get him to the other side, but he just dropped short. That's okay. You can actually vary the distance at which Bob drops in. If you coach gun yourself into the sky, Bob will come in from a higher angle. And he can go a little further. Yeah. You tried. I saw exactly what you wanted to do. And there's the right thing to do. Cart just cocked you a little bit. That's okay. This is pretty exposed position, position, but the tanks can't get you here, so it's pretty okay. If you stay high ground, their tanks can do nothing to you. They 100% need a D.Va or a monkey. Oh my god, the game's already over? What? So yeah, uh, right hat right there. Uh, they took high ground from you. They took high ground from you, and then they pushed in. Also, your team wasn't ready to defend, it seems like. They just kind of walked in. Squats teabags. <laughs> How much can you teabag? Oh, like 300 pounds. <laughs> Alright, Franks. Uh, so overall tips, my man. So widow tips. Okay. We're, we're going to bring the widow here to give these widow tips. Alright, man, I'm going to equip you here. Are you ready for this? So there's a lot in that game. There's a... There, she's speaking. There's a lot in that game. That's my widow accent. She'll, she'll talk to you. So there's a lot I dropped in that game. Kind of better. Uh, don't try to include all of it in your game already. Uh, I'm just going to give you three. She's British, I know, right? <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you... She's, she's French, right? She's French. Uh, I'm going to give you three takeaways to kind of help summarize things, help you, help you move forward here. Um, number one... Uh, your positioning on offense for Widow is a little suspect, a little suspect. You do expose yourself a little bit. Uh, there weren't really hardcore counters per se for you on the, in this game. So it was okay. The positioning's okay, but 
to get out of platinum, my man, to get out of platinum, especially to get into diamond and through diamond, you got to start respecting DPS because you're playing in the Smurfs, a lot of Smurfs. So you got to really respect DPS and really respect their line of sight as well. So play that far side on the far left. Uh, really get those angles open for yourself. Um, other than that little bit of positioning, you were pretty much perfect all the way through with your positioning. Uh, uh, that's so. Try to stay out of enemy line of sight. Stay in your healer's line of sight. Get those wide angles. Uh, another thing that's really important for you as well. Um, reposition. Reposition more often. Uh, after you shoot like two or three shots, just just like for me, uh, I come from Counter Strike. Uh, like way back in the day, uh, I played a lot of Widow, I guess, in Overwatch. Uh, some Widow, just got like maybe like 100 hours or something like that. But um, uh, when I shoot like three bullets from the same position, like I start to feel anxious, like my, my anxiety gets crazy. So I have to reposition like every two or three bullets. And if I don't, I just end up paying for it. Um, oh, nice, you're CSGO. I'm, I'm glad to, th to see that you don't crouch when you shoot. A lot of Counter-Strike players, myself included, crouch when they shoot. It's an old CS habit. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, don't do that in Overwatch. <laughs> don't do that in Overwatch. Um, straight up, just don't do that. Unless you're Widow, Widow on Widow. Okay, so the last little tip I'll give you for your Widow, my man. Um, you do seem to focus really hard on getting headshots only. Getting Hitting people in the body is pretty valuable, my man. It's pretty valuable. Don't, don't be afraid to go the, to go for those body shots if, you, if that's what you're comfortable with. I also find that if I'm missing a lot of shots on Widow, I will like mentally reset by shooting tanks. That's kind of how I get back in the groove. I do that across all my DPS. Um, and then the last thing for Widow v. Widow, uh, when it's Widow v. Widow, you're the two most important people in the game. Your goal, above all else, is to kill the enemy Widow. How do you do that? You let her shoot first. Let her shoot first, stay hidden, keep vision on the battlefield so you can see where she's shooting from. When she shoots, reposition to get her angle, kill her, uh, and then reposition yourself. After every two shots you put into an enemy widow, you need to reposition or you will die. Uh, let her shoot first and that's how you win. That's how you win widow v widow. Uh, and don't shoot first yourself or you will die. There you go. Uh, and then for Ash, your dynamites are good, your bobs are good, your coach guns are good, your positioning was really good. Nothing you did wrong there per se. Uh, just be careful about over positioning. Depend it, your positioning on high ground depends upon what the enemy tanks are doing. And that's really about it there. Um, I'm trying to think like what else? Uh, Enros, uh, for Enros. Sorry that we're also dropping this for Enros here. <laughs> uh, good Doom play. Uh, what what, you, what I want to see from you there, Enros, is you got to tell your team the objectives. It seems like you and your Mercy understood what you needed to do. You needed to clear high ground before you push the cart, but your tanks didn't understand that. Your tanks were very much like the Zarya Rhine into a, a Doom Widow, Doom Ash. Doesn't work really well. Uh, so they needed to play dive tanks and they needed to go high ground first, claim high ground and then push the cart. So what you do, you have to sell them on the idea. Be like, yo, cart push doesn't matter. If we push cart and then we die, it's just going to come back anyway. So let's take the high ground. Let's get those kills, get that hammer in, get those kills, push the cart, win the game. That's what you do there. You have to sell the idea to your tanks. Be like, yo, we're going to, we're going to crush them. We're going to crush these guys if we go high ground. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, if you can sell ideas to your tanks, make it seem like, yo, you want that gold damage medal? I got you, bro. Jump on these guys. Go here, do this. Sell it to them. <laughs>